Hi everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export PDF files from Figma uh, with CMYK export settings uh, which you would typically use if you wanted to use uh, the PDF for print purposes and at the moment Figma does not let you export PDF files with any sort of color profile settings um, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. Um, so the first step is installing a plugin called Tiny Image and if you haven't already done that, you can go to the top left corner up here with the little Figma icon. And if you click on that, you'll see uh, a little search bar up here. Um, you may have to click on community or plugins first. Um, but once you do, type in the search bar, the word tiny image, which is T-I-N-Y-I-M-A-G-E. And underneath plugins, you'll see a result called tiny image compressor pop up. And if you haven't already installed it, you'll see a button on the right hand side that says install. And if you click on that, it'll change to say installed uh, with this little check mark. And once you've got that check mark, you're ready to, ready to roll and you can jump back into your Figma design project. So today I'm just going to be using this simple three frame design, uh, which are Figma des design principles, um, just as a bit of an example. And the first thing we need to do is just right click anywhere on the page, go down to plugins and then go down to tiny image compressor and click on that. And that's just going to run the plugin we just installed a moment ago. And you can see here that I've got my three frames listed. And the reason that they're being listed uh, is because I've already listed all of them as PDFs. And what I mean by that is if you click on any of your frames, and in the right hand side, you'll see a little title called export. Um, if you click on the plus symbol, it'll let you add export settings. Um, so at the moment I've got a PDF setting. I've just added a PNG setting. So if I refresh my tiny image interface, you can see that PNG has just been picked up. Um, but for this case, I just want PDF. So I'm going to remove that and refresh and you can see PDFs back again. So if I just deselect my frames, uh, once again, it's just going to list all of the detected export settings in my file. So all I've done is just applied a PDF export to all three frames. Okay, so basically uh, by default Figma, when it exports PDF files, it will always export them in RGB, uh, which is basically the color profile that you would typically want to use if you are viewing um, PDF files on a computer screen or on a, uh, a TV or on a monitor. Um, it's typically not the format that you would choose if you were going to be using a PDF file for print. Um, when you're using a PDF file for print, ideally you're probably going to be asked to provide something that's been uh, exported in CMYK. Uh, so this is a different color profile to RGB. Um, but as I said, the, the default and the only option for exporting PDFs natively from Figma is an RGB export. Um, so today I'm just going to be showing you how to use Tiny Image to export these PDF files in the CMYK format that we want to use. Okay, so what we need to do is click on the little settings icon um, that you can see my mouse over now, just on the right hand side here. If you click on that icon, uh, it's going to bring up a whole list of uh, settings for us. And uh, you can see here, it's got JPEG settings, PDF color profile settings, PDF password protection settings, custom image file name format settings, um, all that good stuff. Um, so for today, I'm not gonna be requiring the password protection. Um, I've got another video tutorial on that. If you're interested in uh, password protecting your PDF files, um, you can check that out on the YouTube channel. Um, but for today, I'm gonna be focusing on the second setting here which is the PDF color profile setting. Uh, so you can see here that if you hover over the, the dropdown, um, the default is being set to RGB, which is the, the color profile that Figma normally exports as. Um, so that's the default. And then the second option we've got here is CMYK and in brackets for print. Um, and there's also a third option, which is the grayscale option. So the RGB option, I'm just going to select that for now and show you what that looks like just so you've got an idea as a baseline. Um, so I might just uncheck those. I'll just do one for now. Um, if you want to change the DPI, so you can see over here it's got the DPI it's going to get saved as. Um, all you need to do is change this slider up here and that's going to change the DPI. 
So the lowest quality um, correlates to 72 dpi. Um, the good quality or medium is uh, 150 dpi and 300 dpi is the maximum uh, setting. So this will give you the best quality but at also at the highest file size and at the opposite end you get um, the best possible file size savings um, but the quality won't be as good. So I tend to just keep it around the middle and go with 150 dpi. Um, so now that I've got my frame selected all I'm going to do is export the RGB version first and just click compress selected to show you what that looks like. Um, it'll be very quick so it's already done and I'm just going to save that as my first one and I'm just going to put RGB in the file name and click save and save that to my desktop and there we go we've got our PDF file as we'd expect and you can see here um, due to the nature of the, the plugin being a compression plugin uh, the original file size that Figma saves PDFs out uh, that would have resulted in a six megabyte file and because we're running it through tiny image that's come out uh, at 166 kilobytes giving us a saving of 97% uh, which is which is really good okay so that's the RGB one and I'm just gonna restart the plugin uh, you can click close and if you want to restart it really quickly all you need to do is go over to the right hand side here uh, once you've run the plugin once in a page, you'll see this little option on the right hand side under the title plugin and you'll see the little milk bottle icon with tiny image there. If you click on that, that will save you from having to right click on the page, go down to plugins, go down to the plugin name. Uh, this is just a one click way of relaunching. Okay, so now that we've uh, just given the RGB version a go, I'm just going to go back into the settings option. So if I click on that settings icon once again, and underneath PDF color profile this time, uh, I'm going to click on that again. And this time I'm going to select CMYK uh, for print. Okay, so I've selected that now. I don't have to click save. I can just get out of that. And this is now going to export it to CMYK. So once again, I'm going to click compress selected. And in a moment, we should get the CMYK version. So now I'm just going to tag that uh, CMYK. Okay. So there we go. I've got my CMYK one. And you can see here it's exported it um, just as we'd expect as well. Um, however, at first glance, while they look exactly the same, uh, so this is the RGB one. And then if I open up the CMYK one right alongside it, uh, it, it might, might not be super obvious to tell from where you're looking, but on my screen, um, I can clearly see a difference between the left and the right. So on the right hand side, we've got our CMYK. So that's the one we just exported. Uh, and then on the left hand side, we've got our original one, which was the RGB. And if you, if you can tell, um, just by looking at your screen right now, as I can. On the left, the red is much more vibrant, uh, it's much more uh, illuminated, and on the right hand side, it's much more muted and uh, it, it just has a, a very different sort of tone to it. Um, so that's the result that we actually want. Uh, we, we want them to be different. Um, they're two different color profiles. The one on the right we would be using in a print scenario, most likely, and the one on the left, the RGB one, uh, this is what we'd be using whenever we want to send a PDF that's intended to be viewed on a computer screen, uh, in intended to be viewed on an iPad, something like that. Uh, anything that's not print, you would want to use RGB. Um, so that's great. So that's that's working just as we'd expect. Uh, the CMYK has turned out well. And there's one more color profile we can use, which is the grayscale. So I'll just show you what that looks like too, uh, just out of interest. Uh, so this time I'm just going to use this exact same PDF file and I'm going to go to my settings and once again you can see it's previously been set to CMYK uh, but once again I'm going to change that to a new setting. So the last setting is grayscale. If I click on that and just select it again and once again just click on compress selected. This time instead of CMYK PDF we're going to get a grayscale PDF. And uh, this is something that 
I personally don't don't use. Um, I haven't had to use Grayscale, um, but it could be handy in in some scenarios. So the Grayscale one, if I open that up, you can see here it's it does what it says on the box. It will give you a Grayscale uh, PDF, so everything's Grayscale, everything everything's black and white, and uh, yeah, that's that's in stark contrast to the RGB and the CMYK one. Um, so those are basically the three color profiles that Tiny Image gives you uh, as options for exporting. So that's all three of them now. And you can see there's a little bit of a file difference between them, nothing too crazy. Uh, the RGB one is 171. The CMYK PDF um, that we exported from Figma is 202. And finally, the one we just exported is 167. So the grayscale one is marginally smaller. Uh, CMYK is marginally larger, but overall it's still a 97, 98% saving from whatever you would get originally from Figma. Um, so the very last thing I'm going to show you is uh, slightly unrelated to the color profile itself, um, but if you wanted to export a merged copy of these PDFs, um, you can do that by clicking on the button I just clicked on. So if you didn't, didn't catch that, that was me clicking on this button up the top here. So in the top left, um, I've got this button called create a PDF. So if I click on that, um, this setting is different from the, the default one. Um, so this setting essentially looks at all of the top level frames inside of your Figma file. Um, so if we look at the left hand side right now, uh, underneath the layers, uh, you can see I've got three parent frames, approachable, thoughtful, professional. So those are being loaded in over here. Um, so it's not relying on the export settings as our main panel was uh, when we just want to export different formats to individual files. Um, the purpose of this function is to merge uh, multiple parent level frames, sort of larger frames, uh, into a single PDF file. So instead of doing three different ones um, with the regular exports, this is going to actually merge the three into one. Um, so you can see here we've got the exact same uh, options as we did before. So we've got RGB, CMYK and grayscale. Um, as I said before, password protection, I've got another video on that if you're interested in that, but you can, you can enable that down here too. And these are actually rearrangeable. So you can rearrange the order of those uh, frames and you don't have to touch your frame order uh, in your Figma layers. These are independent. Um, they'll be saved in the plugin between uses. So you can go back and re-export files in the order that you set them set them in here and of course you can you can deselect or select whichever ones you you like um, so in this case i'm just going to do uh rgb uh, actually i'll do cmyk just so just so it stays on point and the last little edge case that i'll touch on is you might have noticed there's a little toggle underneath the color profile options so we've got the cmyk uh, PDF, RGB PDF, and Grayscale PDF. Um, so those are all, all fine. There is an edge case if you're exporting uh, vector paths. So if you're drawing a blob or something with a pen tool and you give it a vector background or a vector fill, um, the RGB compression by default will ignore the gradient fill on that particular vector path, that vector style and we'll use just a solid color. Um, so if you do come across that, it's not, it's not all that common, but if you do come across it, um, there's an additional option here, which is enable gradient fills for vector paths. Um, so it will take slightly longer, but that just uh, resolves that little, that little issue with the exports of vector paths that have gradients. Um, so in my case, I don't have any gradients. Um, I don't have any, any blobs or any paths like that uh, really. So I don't need that option. Um, but if you do encounter that, that's the option you can use and it'll, it'll fix it right up. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna select CMYK once again. Um, so this is gonna give me a merged uh, CMYK color profile for my PDFs um, from my Figma, Figma designs. Um, so I'm just gonna select all three. I'm gonna arrange it. So yellow is first, red is second, and the gray is last. And all I need to do is click on export to merged PDF. And once again, it's just going to compress those three files. Um, but as I mentioned this time around, because we're using the create a PDF um, button, 
it's going to give us a single uh, PDF file, whereas before it would have given us multiple if we exported them all at the same time. Okay, so I'm just going to save that as the default file name. Uh, savings wise, you can see once again, we're up at the 96% mark. Um, it's down from what would have been 12 megabytes to 500 kilobytes, so very good saving. And if I uh, just open that file, you can see here we've got yellow, red, and gray, just as we'd expect. Um, and once again, you might be able to tell just by comparing it with the Figma design, um, because we are exporting it as CMYK, uh, the color difference is, is, is fairly noticeable. So you can see on the right here, again, we've got the very vibrant red, uh, the RGB sort of red. Um, same with the yellow, you can see on, on the, the left to right here, the yellow on the left in our Figma file um, is very different from the CMYK PDF that we just exported from Figma. Um, so that's worked, that's that's good news. Um, that's exactly what we want. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the merged version. So those are the two options. You can either export a merged version, which is a single PDF made up of your Figma parent frames. Um, or of course you can uh, export all three of these as individual uh, PDF files based on the export settings um, in the bottom right uh, column over here. Um, so yeah, so that's everything you need to know about exporting uh, PDF files with uh, CMYK from Figma. Um, as I mentioned before, this isn't something that uh, Figma currently uh, offers natively. Um, so yeah, if you do want to do this, uh, I think Tiny Image is, as far as I know, the only way to, to do it right now. Um, I'm sure that there's a way to export your PDF files from Figma uh, natively and somehow load them up into a, a separate tool or other software and convert it to CMYK. Um, but yeah, if you if you want it directly from if you want the CMYK PDF directly from Figma, um, and you also want the benefit of compression at the same time, uh, then yeah, Tiny Image is a really good option for doing that. Um, so I hope if you've been looking for a way to export um, CMYK PDFs from Figma that this video has been really helpful. Um, and yeah, I, I hope that you've uh, learned something and you can take it away back to your team or back to your own projects uh, and get some benefit from it. So yeah, thank you as always for watching and we'll be back very soon with uh, even more tutorials that are uh, just like this one.